All right. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. Sorry for a longer startup. I've been like conquering a cold today and I'm making sure to start recording these streams locally because when I do the Twitch exports to YouTube, um, it comes in at a lower quality. So I'm going to try recording it to my machine, uploading that to YouTube. And also with the Twitch dump that happened yesterday, the whole 128 gigs, um, I, I'm pretty sure they invalidated a lot of their like access keys. So the Twitch export to YouTube doesn't work. Um, it like lets you authenticate, but then errors out. So I made sure I got this recording. And so thanks for tuning in. I have a new Thursday uh, stream time. So this live development session is sponsored by Esteemed. Esteemed is an AI powered talent agency and career solutions provider for digital professionals, like many of you watching. If you're looking for a contract or full-time gig, you can check out their job board at esteemed.io esteemed slash jobs. Um, in addition to being a great source for jobs, they also have a strong community and network of developers. I hang out in their Slack. There's a, it's a nice way to chill out, especially if you are a remote worker and you're a freelancer or independent business owner like myself. Um, it's a nice place to hang out. So you can go check out Esteemed and their lunch and learns that they have or Drupal camps. Um, I'll put a link in the chat to join their chat. So go ahead, check them out. And it's esteemed.io. And I'll paste the link in the chat to join um, their Slack, their community rather. It's short URL dot at slash UWNX9. And I really appreciate Esteem's sponsorship. Um, I'm going to be picking up some work I did for PHP Stan. So way back in July, Gabor had brought up that Drupal 10 is going to, or rather he had tried to get upgrade status to test against PHP 8 and Drupal 9. And we weren't getting failures that we would expect to have happened. Like, you know, deprecated PHP 7 code was still not airing in PHP 8. Just some weird stuff was going on. So I went and, oh, let me close... Chrome. I try to close as many things as I can because my computer's being extra silly today. Um, so I created this meta issue about backwards PHP 8 backward incompatible changes detection. There's a lot. Um, you know, the one example that stuck out to me was the each function. Now, Drupal is the kind of code base that has stuff hanging around from like PHP 4. You know, there's the each function, which has been replaced with for each. So that's actually not detected. And one thing that I found out is that the native function reflection does not allow identifying core functions as being deprecated. So I need to, I'm going to try to re-import this into my brain because the last time I touched this was in July, which I guess isn't that long ago, July, August, September, that's two months, but it feels like forever ago. So I'm going to re-upload this into my brain so that way we can have PHP stand identify deprecated internal functions. This is pretty huge, especially since PHP is getting a more, um, I don't want to say aggressive because it's not really, a, it's not like mean. It's um, a more um, constant release cycle and there could be chances for more deprecations of internal functions. So we're finally doing some cleanup in our core code. Um, so when working on that, I realized deprecate, deprecated core functions were not flagged, like create function. Oh, that's another one too. If you're in PHP 8, you'll get create function is not defined. So I guess if you do it in PHP 8, you'll get the error that the function does not exist. Um, with PHP stand, you can detect, you can run it on PHP 7.4, targeting PHP 8 and detect some of these errors. But what about now? Like, what if you're just running it? on PHP 7.4 and you're not even thinking ahead to PHP 8 yet, it's not going to warn you about usages of create function and each, which is probably common in a lot of legacy Drupal code. So in native reflection function, it's hard coded. Oh, here we go. So is deprecated. So I updated this before it was returned null. Um, these values could be parsed from the PHP storm stubs. So not all, so the one way that um, the JetBrains IDE works. Oh, one second. Let me make sure I have PHP 8 locally. I do. Yeah. Um, one way that 
like JetBrains PHP Storm works is they have these sub files. So if we actually go into JetBrains and JetBrains and PHP Storm stubs, and we go to oh I don't know, um, and bstring. This is how the IDE parses the files and knows what's going on. PHP stand also reads these for when it parses um, internal functions as well. So what we can do is start to read these attributes that they have. So they, ha they have PHP 8 attributes attached. Um, and even if we're not using PHP 8, PHP stand knows how to parse them. So if I look at an example, let's look in here at create function, I believe. So core. So right here it says deprecated, anonymous functions instead since 7.2. And there's also an annotation that says at removed in 8.0. So what we need to add is PHP stand needs to be able to read these removed and these deprecated um, attributes, which are in here, to be able to understand if an internal function has been deprecated or will be removed and when it will be removed. So I did some X debug. There's the example. Code snippet that reproduces the problem. Let's rerun this and see. Function create not found, 7.4, no error. So we would expect in 7.4 for some kind of error, possibly. Um, the first step needs to be read here. And oh, the better reflection. Okay, so this reflection, built in method reflection. Um, that's going to be available with PHP stand in all cases. So, did I? Looks like we can backport. Okay, so there was actually, so, P <coughs> sorry, PHP stand is using a fork of better reflection from Rove. And that fork or the upstream actually had detect internal functions that are deprecated. And that is done here by reading the document block. Um, so now the next step is I wrote a pull, pull request this that got reviewed. Um, so this respects deprecated tags and stubs or JetBrains deprecated PHP attribute, which I need to, um, not LD, let's do PHP storm, better reflection. Where I need to pack back, pick back up is actually inside better reflection. So P size. Oh, is there? All right, so I am still on this branch. So help them block PHP stand 5.73. Let's look at the code here. So is deprecated. This dependency isn't available and I don't want to add it. Please do a regular regex match instead. Oh, shoot, I see. Um. So do regular expression. So let's go fix that. This is in reflection function abstract. I'm gonna copy the path so I can do a double shift tap and open the whatever we wanna call that, the browser window that does like a global search. And let's see. Has tag deprecated. So we want to replace doing the um, check on avoid adding the PHP doc block factory to actually doing a regular expression check. So let's, that's got to be somewhere else in here. So I'm going to wait for this to settle down a second. And let's do a search for deprecated this bed reflection is deprecated is there any other has tag not the 
da, da, da. I know that there's going to be examples. And I want to try to use those, which it's not going to be in better reflection. It's going to be in, I need to try to channel my knowledge from digging into PHP stand. The best part to look would probably be in the, not PHP, no, PHP stand, PHP parser. There is a doc parser. And I know I had to work on the doc parser for initial um, deprecation rules. Oh, wait. Parser. Ah, PHP doc parser. Here we go. <coughs> so back when some of my first contributions to PHP stand when working with PHP stand Drupal was to get um, deprecation checks working or actually we could find deprecated issues, but we couldn't abstract their um, descriptions. So that was kind of an issue for the Drupal community because we have good data in our descriptions about how to replace it. So basically I just wanna do a check in the PHP doc parser to see if I'm ready to filter this get tags by name to see if we can, I can copy some kind of regular expression. I want to be lazy about it. Get tags by name. Array filter. This get tags. There's children. Oh, well, that's just not going to cut it. Composer JSON. Require it. We only have two dependencies. All right, so we do have to use regular expressions. Um, So did I write a test for this? And better yet, why is this allowed? Oh, ah, what, 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 what? One second, now I just lost everything. Why is this airing out? You're running, oh, why is it got my PHP all confused. Oh, that's why. Let's refresh. All right, that should be fine now. So what would it be? Where did I write the test? Abstract test, test is deprecated. Assert false. Test stubbed is deprecated. This is what we want. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just comment that out to see if it runs. Identifier not found. Create function that cannot be found in located source. So I believe That should be, that should fix the bug. Okay, I need to turn off PHP sniffer because it was getting very angry. For some reason, it never wants to pick up the homebrew PHP, but it will work after I do like a, a restart. Cannot be located in the source. Um, one sec. Hello, hello. Um, I know it's wrong. Brew on link. Hold on. So to do this, I have to actually run it on PHP 7.4. I believe. Reflect, reflect, or reflect. Um, let's see. So true. Actually, what we should do is um, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna put back PHP eight and see 
if I can get this to work by just telling the reflection to check um, PHP 7.4. So that's PHP 7.4. Let's run the test and hopefully we don't get the identifier not found. Create function cannot be located in source. Function reflector, function info. Great. <laughs> All right, we're gonna step through this rabbit hole. So the identifier is create function. We need to find the reflection. Now it's saying that the source can't be found, but we instructed better reflection to use the PHP version of 7.4, which does exist. However, I am running on PHP 8, so that could be why we're having this issue. So we're gonna step through some of these source locators. And again, the what it's doing here is it's taking the identifier, which is the representation of the function name. And it's going through all of these source locators that are available to say, does this function exist to our knowledge? Now in this code, it's against any internal PHP code, but if it was inside your Drupal project, Laravel, whatever, it would be anything that's available that could be auto loaded as well. So return this get class source, which it's not a class. So then let's get function source. This identifier is function. This type is function. This name. See, okay. So we're getting the function source. So this get located source data from stub data, this stubber generate function stub. So we get the name, generate function stub, function name is there, this function map, it's a PHP version eight ID. Let's look at the function map. That's a lot of stuff. So it exists, so the array key, it exists in that array key. File path is PHP core. Why was it airing out? Um, so a lot of probably the next eight weeks while working on PHP stand is gonna be a lot of going through and debugging. So if you are interested in learning some X debug tricks and just how to debug really hard problems, come back every Thursday at 2 p.m. when I work on PHP stand. Um, all right, so we have the file path is in core core. Find function node for the create function. If not array key exists, this function nodes. So we don't have inside function nodes, we have an empty array. This parse file, absolute file path, file checker is core is true. We have the abstract syntax tree here. Um, but if we, well, I'm not gonna go through all that. Reverse for each caching visitor. Function node, Zen version. Num args. All right, I want to try to get to this line here. So if you ever get stuck in a loop like this with xdebug, you can put your cursor somewhere and click on the run to cursor. I think VS Code has this. If they don't, then you just put a breakpoint. Um, get constant nodes. We don't need the constant nodes, but then this exit. So I'm gonna press the up to step out of this function. So the file has been parsed. Oh yeah, so PHP stand is a static analysis tool. So it's for PHP. So for those who aren't familiar, like what does that mean and why does PHP need one? Um, languages like Golang and Rust and Java and C++ and C Sharp, they're compiled languages, like you build a binary. Whereas PHP, um, JavaScript and Python are all scripting languages. They you, they get compiled at runtime and not to like a, something that can be distributed and executed in a standalone environment. So since they aren't compiled and they're a runtime, 
um, or a scripting language, we need to write tools that actually parse the, the scripts to try to find breakages. And that's what PHP stand does. PHP stand static analysis. Um, and it allows you to just find bugs in your code without actually executing your code and finding them in production later on. And what I'm trying to work on now is we have PHP 7.4. Well, actually PHP 8 is out. PHP 8.1 will be out shortly. Um, but there is code that was removed in PHP 8 from 7 and trying to get PHP to help find that for you before you just have to take it like whack-a-mole where you just run it and see where it crashes. So if not array key exists, no, none. Okay, so parse file, let's go back to that. Let's go, let's go in. So we parse the file, but the function nodes, we have 57 function nodes, which is get resources, GC, get defined, get declared class. So these were all available. When we do this parse file, um, class nodes, function nodes, has later since version. So <coughs> it wasn't added to the function nodes for some reason. It was skipped. So let's go to JetBrains and um, it was in core. It was in the core directory, core, core.php. So I wonder if has later version since, ah, here we go. So if since is greater than this PHP version ID remove, so it get, it reads the removed and it removes it if it's not equal to. So the good part is I can copy some of this text to um, use in our parser which I have no, I now I cannot remember where that was. What file was that? In the reflection function abstract. What was it? Source reflection. Function, reflection, function, abstract, lines 615. No, that's the compile. Hold on. It was reflection, function, abstract is deprecated. We have deprecated. <laughs> um, so if not that I'm going to stop the debugger because I know where I need to go next. Let's identify your type. So we're stubber. Oh, this is the part that I need to copy to at since. So one second, I gotta get, um, say deprecated tag. Returns one if the pattern matches a given subject. We can say if, well, I guess we can just do if deprecated tag. Return true. And that should remove this dependency on PHP documenter, which was requested to be removed. All right, so there's there's step one, kind of, on some of the fixes, not remove matches. Okay, let's remove the core, the stubber, since matches, since we don't need to worry about the results, right? We can ditch the, we don't need to care about matches. Um, I'll just say, I'll just say deprecated tag matches. 
and I'm gonna drop a break point there. And sorry for the turning and coughing. I've got like a horrible, horrible sinus thing going on right now. All right, so I'm gonna press play. So we're in continue and ah, here we go. So the problem I'm having right now is we need to catch each and create function, but they're being ditched due to this has later since version. So I need to figure out why this PHP version ID, this PHP version ID, private, um, stop this. So in our test, we're able to set the PHP version ID and better reflection, but that's not making it to our PHP storm source stubber. So why not? Um, I'm going to drop, drop a breakpoint right here when it gets passed in. So it's not being passed a proper value. When we do our debugging, so function reflector. Oh, because I did it myself. Um, so I'm creating the function reflector right here. Let's see, I'm going to break this apart a little bit so I can understand it myself. So PHP internal source locator, this AST locator, PHP source stubber. And look at red reflection, PHP version. Um, <coughs> um, the only problem is, let's see, PHP source stubber, PHP version ID, We cannot reset that. So what we should do, I guess we have to recreate the, we have to recreate the reflector since we changed the PHP version and that doesn't update the stubbers version. Now, throughout the code, um, if we're to look at when this class is instantiated, Inside better reflection. Oh, maybe I should just do this. Let's let's do that. Self PHP version. So what happens when I create a new instance? All right. Global interactions where what? Where's their global interactions? Or is, or oh, do you mean um ah, I lost my test. Do you mean um, global interactions in terms of, oh no, oh yeah. So it's just a static property, so it can be set. Um, in my opinion, that's not the end of the world. In this case, I keep hitting the wrong shortcut. Um, so now I forgot what I was doing. Um, reflector equals um, let's see, does anything in the test do it this way? New, better reflection test. Sure, we'll do. Construct, and we could do source stubber, or function reflector, get source locator, get class reflector where is the source stubber used oh okay we can just do get source locator this is Usages, function, function, source, AST locator. All right, we'll just do, let's try it this way. We will do reflector equals better reflection, source locator. Uh, no, 
No, no, no. Um, no, I'm not going to go that route. I'm going to, I'd rather just go explicit or we pass it in. And that's it. Um, Because that's how it's done everywhere else in here. And I'll just get feedback from the maintainer to be like, no, do it this way or not. Um, so if I run the test, it passed. That's awesome. So it passed because now we're passing the correct version to um, what you call it. Uh, the, the stubs, the source stubber. Now I'm curious about what happens when we do this, but we don't specify the PHP version and we just say it's, well, I guess if it's PHP eight, we know it already gets ignored. So let's just run this, we'll run that test. It doesn't do anything. We'll run this test. <laughs> <clears throat> is now there. Please do regular expression match. Let's make sure I get that correctly. Which I feel like I did. Let's go ahead and um, jet brains. So the problem is deprecated. All right, we'll we'll copy this. Uh, let's see. Define super globals, zip. So they removed a lot of um, functions, or they replaced a lot of functions with the the traits. So let's. I want to get back to zip that had. Let's copy this. Was it PHP Live Regex? And I want to verify that. So your search strings there um, has that there, and we do a Oh, is it because the two pound symbols are the same as using the slashies? Um, terminators or whatever you want to say. Okay, so passing that, that allows us to get the deprecated version it's in. I'll take that. Um, return deprecated true. Otherwise, this get attributes. I'm going to drop a breakpoint in here on our test just to make sure. It's running as I, as I would expect. So, yep, PHP version ID is set. And skip that one. All right, so the document comment. We got the remove tag, but that's not what we're looking for. Um, I feel like node I just feel like it's something that should be that we could get from inside the stubber even either way this is the way to go so this attributes so attribute we're getting the PHP 8 attributes which is JetBrains PHP storm deprecated that passes we're gonna get the attribute args which is use anonymous functions instead since 7.2 so if it's set 7.2 <laughs> rather if is set and this is where um recommended or told to use dry to unify this with the other code inside the stubber so we go through php version id it matches return so if so the idea here is that if the better reflection method is greater than the um php version id we built return it as deprecated because if you were testing php 
which we have in our test. It's not deprecated yet, but it was deprecated later on. And I honestly don't know if we need this here, but we will. We'll keep that. Um, that's coming from the, that's coming as a port from the upstream, which they still have it this same exact way where they read the document block and says it checks if it has tag deprecated. So this is good to go. Um, so let's just do zero. Use. Um, use regex to detect deprecated in doc and doc comment. Let's commit that. Analyzing code. I want to I need to turn that off. All right, I'll be really excited if this pull request shapes up, because um, then I can work on. Um, one of the next ones, which I'm not sure what that will be, but exciting. Um, pass. What do you want to call it? Pass. Pass testing PHP version to stubber. To stubber and test. Just commit. And then we'll work on the dry method that is used inside the stubber as well. I'm gonna go ahead and push these. Well, there's no test on this. GitHub workflows. Run PHP 8. Oh, okay, there are some. <coughs> or I don't know if I can run them. I haven't contributed to that. I'll rebase. I'll do push to commits. Let's resolve that. Please dry it and unify this in some static class helper to the way that it's in PHP. All right. Let's. Where is that's in here? Please dry and unify that in some static class helper. So explode since, since parts. Oh, that's interesting how it works. Oh, but they're all the same. Um, all right. I think I have an idea. First, I want to get my code to match this, and then I can spin that out to a static class helper. So let's split the screens and hope that makes this a little bit easier. Why is there an error? I committed them. Way to go me. Um, okay, so since what we need to do is drop a breakpoint because I don't remember what this looks like. Attribute args since is 72. And this checks so if um oh. it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> we want to say greater than or equal to is not since matches it's since 
And now we're going to see binary operation between string and 100 results in an error. Um, why is that given an error here, but not inside of over here? Let's do the debugger. If we step over, we get 72 and our test still passed. So that's a way to combine it. And we need to move it to a static helper and unify that in some static class helper. But where, this is where I'm horrible at naming things. Um, Util, um, calculate, let's see, <coughs> get last dot comment, find reflection online, file helper, reflection with invoke, or well, maybe that could be. exception visitor so it would need to be like um version normalizer i guess like ugh, i just hate coming up with names of things um there's a place in the source code, source code that does this you can find some static class helper to the way that it's in php storm source stubber um also be a map or cast it all to an integer is what we should do also um now i'm hung up on naming so it should be since since or so we have remove id it's so removed and since So let's just say um, PHP ID parser, PHP, I don't know, but I'm going to go with that. And then, you know, sometimes it's better just to throw spaghetti at the wall and see if it sticks because then I can get feedback and know how to fix it. So instead of having paralysis right here, I'm just going to get something tossed in. PHP parser ID. Um, public static function from tag. <coughs> so we could do from um we'll just say from version the string version and then say okay what does it return technically it should be an integer int new line code standards I think I should throw an exception. If a node exception, we'll do, uh, we'll, well, I'll just try it out. We'll, um, copy this. So explode the parts, and it should also be array map. Is there an easy way to write intval? That's a function. Yep. Get the integer value of a variable. So we could do a data object for it, but I think that'd be overkill here. 
what we really need to have is just the ability to parse this out. And we'll do new return. This value. And we can update this. So since ID is the PHP ID parser from attribute arg since. Why is this giving? Oh, no, it's just delayed. So now. We can work there. Oh yeah, the if is set check is that way. If a since wasn't provided, we just consider it automatically deprecated. So now what we could do is since ID is, we can update that to over here, PHP ID parser from version. And we'll say since matches one, And we'll do the same thing here. Remove ID is PHP ID parser from version removed matches one. <coughs> and save. All right, that's going. Um, let's look at the test. Unit test. Why is there an error in the fixture? Oh, that's fine. Stubber source locator. Source stubber. Let's run this PHP storm or this PHP storm source stubber. There's errors. Oh my what? Hold on. Oh, it was deprecated in PHP 8. So that is why um, everything broke. So I'm just going to push this up. So we have the PHP ID parser. Um, let's see if there's composer install benchmarks oh, test da, 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 PHP unit. I can't do any of the PHP unit locally because I don't have any of the code. But what I can do is PHP vendor PHP CS cannot open. I'm just going to push it because I can't run what I want because I have PHP 8 locally. So the PHP ID parser from version, um, we add that there into the storm stubber. So that should simplify those two methods. And then we can reuse it here as well. So what I think what would have been great is if there was a way inside the stubber itself, um, what we what has later since version, um, the node when it sets the node and the function node, um, function nodes statement function if it'd be neat if there's a way that we could stuff it into here but this this just represents the code in the file and not actually it doesn't handle any reflection of that in node in the file <coughs> so we'll go ahead and commit this dry php id the code for php id parsing from doc comment or attribute arg so we'll push that oh so it doesn't run it's supposed to run an all pull request but why isn't it why is it not running
I'm just gonna ping him. Gave a shot. Moved it into static method. PHP ID parser from version, which takes the Simver value and converts it to a PHP version ID. Naming was hard, went for something quick for your feedback. All right, so what we have to do now is, so we push this up, waiting for a flow. Okay, so I can't, we don't know if the tests are gonna run because GitHub made it where um, CI flows don't run until they're approved if you're a first time contributor because people were doing drive-by Bitcoin mining and other kinds of random stuff. Um, so it's a spam preventer. So we have that issue and flag the first step that attribute needs to be read here then it's going to be available to php stand in all cases and we can modify code in php stand source to read it and so what that means if we go back to php stand or back to php stand um why do p well, I totally missed the context. Why do oh, why do people do ruin good things about GitHub Actions? Yeah, it's a bummer. It's just weird because Circle CI doesn't do that, and neither did um, Travis. But I guess just maybe GitHub. I don't know. Seems like it fixed the wrong. It was a, the wrong way to fix the problem, but it was a good band aid. So, or maybe it's just because. Yeah, I don't get it because that would always happen for Travis and Circle CI. I don't I don't really understand. Um yeah, I don't I don't fully understand. So let's see. Native reflection fun native function reflection does not allow identifying core functions being deprecated. Did so I'm on the master branch, so it is deprecated. I'm here. Or hold on, let me get back to the PHP stand source, get branch. Um, upstream. This thing is behind, behind rebase upstream. Hit push. So if I look at deprecated, oh is deprecated wait a second i thought i was on code that would fetch up or maybe i was just playing around with it and i didn't commit so this is the main bug is we have is deprecated and deprecated description it's null and always no um and once we get better reflection merged in let's see pr for better Reflection is here, which would allow us to update is deprecated and not caps lock. Get deprecated description. <coughs> so I'm assuming. Yeah, we're. This variance is void variant get return type. So there's the variance, which is an array of parameters acceptors. Oh, I, I don't even know now how we would add this in. And I'm kind of upset that I lost the code that showed this reflection. Um, All right, uh, so I wanna to try to figure out what's gonna be the next step for this. Like once we've got, so function reflection is here. 
function reflect to reflect which comes from better reflection all right so better reflection file name new native so i guess what we'd have to do is native parameter reflection union type um, while wow, signature get function signature find function reflection Uh, da, 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 da. Row. Oh, this is the native function provider. So if we were to look at signature map reflection provider, it's a native function reflection provider and mm, function reflection function reflection factory. So what we'll have to do, so interface is add, we'll need these bools to be returned <coughs> in the constructor. So we have reflection, try reflect, so your file name, we do, let's see, reflection reflection is deprecated. So I'm gonna just make a note. Um, would the next steps once, would the next steps be to update the constructor for, let's copy this reference. That's one thing, like right now I can't move forward because I need to wait for that purge, that um, purge request, that pull request to be merged. But I also know that we have to work asynchronously because he's in um, the Czech Republic, which is about six or seven hours ahead of me. So I want to try to get as much information um, asked ahead of time so that when I come back to this next week, I can just hit the ground running and maybe not and not have to wait for his reply then it's like oh i'm busy doing normal work stuff so would the next steps be to update the constructor for native function reflection to receive the boolean for deprecated and a string for description like the Was it? I'll just say not PHP function reflection. Was that it? Yeah, I guess. Reference. So I think we'll have to just do a Made a function reflection. What does this do? Has side effects. That's different to here. Throw type. PHP doc throw type. So I guess we would just add it to the bottom. And I'll just copy this here yep, I think that's good enough all right um, this would be a huge step forward so what we would then see is any usages of deprecated PHP functions would start being reported and actually inside of um, well that was just a failure because I was running on PHP 8. It was flagging deprecations, but that code could have been caught before running on PHP 8 and getting errors in the test from running it there. So a lot of times our tests are, oh, we don't know that things are broken on the next minor version of PHP until we start running tests on it. But if we can get PHP stan to start detecting things ahead of time, it could, <coughs> it could really make things a lot easier for folks. 
All right, so let's refresh. Didn't I make a comment here? Yes, I did. GitHub just didn't refresh it. Um, let's go to the main list and figure out the next one. There's so many things. Oh. All right, so let's get to the next one. Um, match is now a reserved keyword. That seems. Um, I'm going to check mark to there because each is going to be handled by checking the deprecation. Um, oh, it's just picking from this list. Parse string can no longer be used without specifying a result array. This works, but we don't verify the type of the second param. So yeah, so this is the, the error as it says that parameter two is required, but doesn't validate it. I don't know if we need to go through with that. Um, support for deprecated curly braces for offset access has been removed. Oh yeah, so this has no error at all. Um, I guess that could be the next one to go to. Let's see. I just wanna to try to find a quick and easy one. Um, using parent inside of a class that has no parent will now result in a fatal compile time error. I think instantiation rule. Let's look at this. Just needs to have PHP 8 specific checks. Instead of just does not extend any class, we need an error on PHP 8. Um, so I guess that could be a good case. So let's check this out. Um, using outside of scope, calls new parent, but does not extend any class. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so let's work on this one. Create an, I'm going to create a pull request for this, hopefully by the end of the stream. Um, calls new parent, but does not extend any class. Let's go to phpsand.dev or .org. calls new parent but does not extend so if we say parent say hello date we should get an error returned um but does not extend any class in php 8 this would be causing this would cause an error Let's make sure I've got this correct. Then there's, okay, well, you know, somebody's got a handful of examples here. Oh, expat, exact. Oh, so they're also like some kind of spot those with the rule oh are they like some kind of uh, some kind of analysis tool as well so it's now fa fatal error at linting time so instead of just reporting as an error so we should check the current php version i guess do we need to change this calls parent say hello but does not extend any class <coughs> I don't know if there's a way to make it be a bigger error actually we need an error on PHP 8 so maybe not let's just see I'm gonna read through um, Uh, 
Oh, I did have something else open, actually. Here we go. Um, briefly comment on my items. I would have read that. Match keyword. As you said, it's already parsed error. It's fine. Methods with the same name. So I'm going to just check off match. Because food does not have a constructor, it must be instantiated without any parameters. I guess that is a catch. Um, so we'll mark that, that's caught. Um, but, but, Boom, let's scroll down. Call the non-static method statically has been removed, thus is callable will fail when checking for a non-static method with a class name should be handled by const array type get callable. All right, that one needs to be reviewed. Um, the case for insensitive comments has been removed. This needs a custom rule, and that is what I tried working on here, I believe, um, for case insensitivity. So we'll work on that because I know that I think that is one that Gabor started to work on. And I know next week I'm going to spend some time ahead figuring out what would be the ne best next steps as I get into some of these. So let's go check out that branch. Get checkout. So PHP 8, K, define case insensitive, and I have a typo. Let's rebase off of master. And seems like a bug to me. Previously checked variant zero. So there's, I think you gave feedback that I went down the wrong approach. Adding new variant is going to solve this. Please revert all the change code and add this here without the number. Also for a new rule. Okay, so I need to log. <coughs> I'm gonna do a git revert. I'm reverting that commit um, with the idea that, you know, we can just do a squash merge. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to, I don't want to revert. Hard, uh, hold on one second. Get reset hard origin, PHP 8, define. And do we get rebase? I wrote a test, so that's it. I, I wrote a test. I don't want to skip the test. I'm just going to revert the changes that aren't needed. So let's go to this, to the... Uh, function map delta and let's delete this the overrides there same with the function map provider so that should be variant not just one all right so there's the test Call to define. Revert changes to signature map for define call. Let's do commit. Anyway. Let's do git diff master, ah, master. <coughs> so call to define, test requires PHP 8. So I guess I could run this on my own actually. So let's grab this function. And 
I have PHP 8 locally. Oh, what? Oh, hold on. Um, composer update. Wait, there's no lock file in this source, is there? Oh, yay. He's, he's around. Oh, sweet. So maybe there will be feedback after all. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I want to say he's a magician, like just very on top of things in an a absurd kind of way. And especially the tooling, like the fact that um, when you link to some of the playground examples, they auto update with the changed output. Um, super cool. Um, all right, so PHP stay in source. This is the pull request. I just want to make sure that I'm not about to do something silly to the lock file and that it is ignored. It is not. Okay, so I'm just going to do composer install then. I'm ignore platform requirements. I'm ignoring platform requirements because I have PHP 8. Oh, it allows it anyways. All right, so let's run that test now that we have the local set up. And at the same time, let's see if there is feedback on this pull request. Probably not. I'm assuming it was easier. Oh, sorry about the build failures. The CI is in a great state here. A test will change the VSP PHP stand test suite anyways. Still making the CI green is something here I could do. As far as I know, we do not. I think um, I will check inside the JetBrains stubs. I don't think so, but maybe for some of the extensions. Um, so, are you the CI state? Ah, no, no. Sponsorships for PHP 8. I'll spend some time trying to help out on that and um, another time. So, first, strings are identical. There was no error for wrong error, but not sure where to set it. So, good error. Oh. We assume that's going to be the error, but nothing's happening. So let's make a, I'm going to go. So that's where we need to be for the define. So I'm going to hop all over the place right now, because if we can land the, the native reflection deprecations, that's going to be huge. Um, especially since all oh, DrupalCon's wrapping up right now. Um, but so it won't be available in time for that, but it would still be huge. Um, so first let's go get my test updated inside of abstraction test. Where is it? Unit reflection abstract test. Let's do a data provider. Is there a data provider in here with variadic data provider, provider generator, generator provider. Start end of line, start end of line. Columns data provider, reference. Easier ways to look at the structure. Test, 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 no return type provider, return type provider, test, 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 return references provider, generator provider, test is internal, test is, all right, um, let's just make a, <coughs> oh, excuse me, 
we'll just make a new say um, data it would be data provider data provider deprecated stub provider guess that's a decent name this is internal Periodic provider return. So say string function function name bool expected deprecated. And follow the example where it seems generators are defined above the test. So public function deprecated stub provider. Terms an array. Return. Create function. Also, we have function name. We um, function name. Int PHP version ID. And we expect this to be true. But then if it's for 7001, we expect false. So function name, we replace in here. PHP version ID replaces that. If I can delete lines correctly, delete the second half. And we'll say self assert equals. The expected is expected deprecated. So now if we run this, we should get two tests in a row. Great, it passed. Um, and now let's just check the JetBrain stubs for deprecated. Do we have any examples of functions for both of these paths, the deprecated and deprecated. So let's see. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Open in. Oh, let's do github.com, JetBrains, PHP Storm Stubs. <laughs> So this is a function reflection, and these are all constants. Enchant. So use the doc a. So I think deprecating 4.1, globals, yaf, I don't even know what yaf is, not implemented. Um, what the heck is yaf? Zip. Okay, so let's go to make a comment mostly mostly deprecated is used for define the yeah extension stubs have deprecated over attributes and so does the zip extension stubs so we'll need to test that's what we'll have to do um, is add tests for zip so let's go down to zip and zip.php Zip open. Oh, let me, yeah, thank you for the link. 
Okay, yeah. What is it? Yet another framework? Apparently a peck little PHP framework. Oh, don't do this to me. Bra brave. Okay, there we go. Resolve. Oh, and it's actually alive. Limited to similar to Zen, written in C and built as a PHP extension. It's like Falcon. All right. Um, isn't there a way to link to multiple lines inside of? Copy line, copy permalink. Let's do. I thought. You could link and it would do like you could link to multiple lines from here, but let's just go. I'll expand the test via the data provider to catch these and ensure the reg, the reg, regular expression is working. Man, I thought there was a way to like copy code and like link to it fancily. Alt click. Oh, shift click. Man. All right, hold on. Or, or dash L right there. Hold on. I'm going to get fancy up in this with my shift click, click, kaboom. Got to edit this comment. So if I preview it, refresh, is it going to be fancy then? No, whatever. Thanks, GitHub. Um, at least I got the highlight when it goes to there. So let's update our test. Um, when was it deprecated? So it was never, it was deprecated in 8.0. So we need to change this to be 8. I think that's it. Right, 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 right. And project, yep. So in 7.4, it should be false. In 8, it should be true. I forgot to fix that. Actual is true. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so that means I need to do some debugging for that issue. So if I right click, close other tabs, and get to my reflection function abstract, drop a breakpoint here, and I'm going to right click. So one thing that PHP Storm does that's really neat is not only can you run individual failed tests, but you can debug it, that one test parameter. Now, I'm not even sure the command it passes to make that happen. Um, so let's go to the doc comment. We've got deprecated, deprecated tag. Oh, because we don't, I don't match it in here like I should. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So if deprecated tag, we need to do um, since ID equals PHP ID parser from version would be deprecated tag matches one and return if it's better since the since ID, which in the stubber. Am I missing? I don't know why there's all these extra spaces. I'm going to remove those. 
Um, all right, some version for match one. So if I rerun that test with a debugger, since ID assert equals false, false, yay, test pass. Um, let's just go through abstract. Respect since version in dot comment deprecated tag. So let's push and I'll comment on here. Okay, I already did analyze some code. Oh, one thing I'd love if anybody has done or knows how to do a like co-host on Twitch or with OBS, anything, um, reach out because I am wanting to try to do some like shared streams. Um, specifically, it was brought up by Andre from PHP stand doing like a paired programming live stream where he'd kind of like I would run the wheel and type and tell me what everything I'm doing wrong, basically, because I know I'd be messing up all the time but I have no idea how to set that up in OBS or with Twitch. And I need to sit down one day and just read about it, but I don't know if anybody knew offhand. So if you happen to have that secret knowledge or have seen somebody do it, let me know if you've seen a streamer do it. And then I can at least like try to read what they've done or ask them. Oh, did this freeze? Oh, come on, PHP storm. My computer has been horrible to me all day. I don't know what I did to it earlier. Nothing like DNS wasn't resolving inside brave properly. Like, so an extension was messing with something. So I would like, go to pages and it would be pending forever. Oh, All right. I don't want to wait for this. Let's go projects, PHP, PHP stand source right no we're not we're in the um never mind we're in better reflections again get diff get commit av respect since version in doc comment deprecated tag <coughs> all right we'll push that and there we go now it showed up added and verified zip open is caught appropriately since it does not have the deprecated attribute usage All right, I'll resolve that comment resolve Why why couldn't I get it to look fancy like that? I'll resolve this comment. Alright. I think that's good. Um where was I at? I was at um my brain. Not better reflection. Well this is just frozen. Oh no. Is this one too? Come on, PHP Storm. Let me I'll have to force quit PHP storm. Um, but while I wait for that to hopefully wake up, I'm going to go to source pull request author is me. Okay. Um, let's rename this to be Fine, case insensitive is ignored. Constance no longer supported. I'll just rename it that way. Uh, 
is it? All right. Um, Force quit. PHP storm. Now, how horrible it would have been if I clicked Streamlabs OBS and just crashed the entire system in the stream. I would have been very, very sad. Um, all right. So let's get back into CD projects, PHP, uh, PHP stand source. Let's see, get diff. Git commit AV, set stub error message. Let's do a push, git pull. That was a big, that was a lot of git objects to rebase off, rebase off of. Let's do a git push. All right, so we need to create a custom rule. And oh, what in the world? No, 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 no. Git rebase. Ah, uh, why is this so ridiculous? Okay, there we go. The rebase fixed it. Gonna get real worried there. So let's do this again. PHP storm right here. And let's see if we can come up with a rule. Now, luckily, I spent the past week or two on uh, the past two weeks with PHP stand Drupal working on writing rules to detect. Um, Actually, not rules, but they're just return type extensions. But I'm at least somewhat in this mindset right now. So we'll hopefully be able to get this one cranked out as well. <coughs> so stubs, source, rules. Um, bum, 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 bum. Functions, arrow function rule. I guess we would just have to do inside of here, just print F parameter rules. So we'll create a new function, new file called define parameter rules.php. Let's add it. And we'll use this print F as a great example. So start with this class is going to it's going to call to print F. We'll be able to copy a lot of this at least. We'll wait for the indexing to finish. Name functional argument permit. So we'll have to check the PHP version. And then if it's PHP 8, we throw an error for the um, on the define function. Wait for this to go. Oh, I didn't know it indexes all of your scratches too. I need to clean up those a lot because I have like 500 scratch files. Let's see, maybe I can make this faster by, um, where's the exclude? Um, oh, is it not gonna let me exclude things until I, I don't wanna delete. Ah. All right, well, let's just, 
class, define parameter rules, implements, PHP, stand, rules, rule, no type phone call, we copy a bunch of this, process node, get placeholder, and copy process node. So, <laughs> excuse me. So name string to lower. So if name is not equal to define, return empty array. So we only want to handle a, an empty array. array. Um, we want to handle the define function. Sorry, that was a huge brain blip. Um, args unpack oh that's interesting if arg unpack oh wait so if any if anything is an unpack argument where it's um i believe like the the three dots like so like a spread operator so let's look here so args we want to count the args and let's check this out so actually we don't need to open anything we can go we have the stub files available core define so define language level aware 8.1 is mixed default value deprecated bool so let's bring this one, let's drag this one over here to look at. So if we'll copy this segment here, that if, <coughs> if args is less than two, we'll return. So if the args is less than two, if args count is equal to two, That's the expected amount. Or actually, I guess if it's less than three, if it's less than three, expects two, one arg is caught, is caught by. So I guess this is basically it. Um, what did I make the rule be? Argument three, case sensitive is ignored. Since declaration is no longer supported, we can bike shed the error message. I will assume that's it. Let's analyze file array files, expected errors. I think that is all. So if there's three, I guess we could verify that's a Boolean, but that seems a little above and beyond. Um, let's import, help import some of these statements. Oh, wait a second, but we did not include the PHP version check. I missed that. So where is that used? This PHP version supports HH print specifier. So I guess what we need to do is, well, why is this also getting angry at me? Oh, as private visibility, because it's picking up that one. You know it works i'm just copying the exact same code so i, I know it works out 
um, PHP version. So if count is less than three, actually we need to do um, if this PHP version is get version get version ID. There's got to be other rules that do this. So that's that's the keyest thing. Like whenever you work in code, something else has to do it too. So it's not just you. Um, so it's just this line right here. So if the PHP version is less than eight, we bail. So if we run this test now, we should get some kind of error back. And I'm going to check what's going on with this pull request to see if there's any more feedback. Not yet. Which is cool. <coughs> Build asserting that say, oh, what? Expected zero three. Um, Oh, duh, you know what? When you define a rule, it helps if you actually register it. So let's go to, where's, where is this defined at? Config level zero. All right, so we'll just do it. Um, is this alphabetical, do you think? Do we think, do we think? Yeah, it looks like it. So functions. E F D define parameter rules. Let's drop a breakpoint here and debug this test. Oh, here's all the breakpoints I've made. Spent a lot of time digging into this um, before. Trying to figure out test failed. It didn't even invoke my runner. Hold on. Um, oh, test requires PHP 8 to run. That's fine. And this analyze. This analyze. Memorize path. Where is the configuration file? Ah, uh, now now I don't remember how it sets the analyzer result. Does this get analyzer test? Require once that function definition. This test, this get analyzer, registry, file. Somewhere it loads the analyzer debug true. Expected errors, actual errors. Get additional configuration files. Bleeding edge. No, that's not it. PHP stand. Test case. All right. So rule test case extends PHP stand test case. Let me read here. <coughs> so it gets the additional config files. And then the test case at neon. If you static reflection provider. If is set container create array merge config level dot eight, which returns config level dot eight includes seven, six. So, okay, so that if you're ever curious about how the levels work, this is hit. Like, if you could include level nine, it just includes the previous versions and adds additional data to it. Um, 
define parameter rules. Well, what's going on here? Is this even being invoked? Let's run the debugger again. Well, now I just feel like it's not even being registered. Rules. Yeah, we've got the rules. Functions. Just to make sure. Copy the reference. That is all the same. We have closure. Well, that's interesting. So you have closure. Oh, duh. Closure return types not part of the core or the rule config zero. So why is this not even being registered when I run it? Um, well, there's one way to test. Let's just debug it. Um, Let's analyze so files it's called to defined the expected error. So the files we get the absolute. Let's get analyzer. This get rule. Oh, <coughs> hold on. This get rule. That's why. Each test has its own specific rule, which I did not have. So here we go. This print F. Okay. I knew I was missing something really basic about it. So we're going to call this the define parameter. This should be define parameters rule test.php. This class name is wrong. Refactor rename. It should be parameter rule. Let's fix that and config zero. All right. Now we'll write the test. I knew something had to be wrong. And let's just look at the print F again as our example. So we'll copy paste. Test define parameters rule test extends rule test case. I'll do the full. Define parameters rule. Do we need to do get rule? We'll just we're gonna copy. This is define parameters rule. New PHP version there. There we go. And then just test file so we can do um, define. We'll cut that out because it doesn't belong in there anymore. Now it just belongs in here. We'll just say test file. We don't need to have a handful of them. So now if we run it, we should get something back. There we go. I actually have no idea what the three is for. Expected errors. Zero, one. Oh, file line on the line of the file. Um, good question is for the rules, we need periods at the end of them. So let's fix that. Try to just clean it all up before it's time to roll off. Period. Run the test again. <coughs> All right, I'm going to call that as pretty good. Um, so let's.
create define parameters rule for checking deprecated arg3. Commit, do not freeze on me again. So anyway, I'm gonna do another push. I'm going to re-request the review. And resolve these old conversations. I've made a new rule which checks if argument three is provided on PHP 8. All right, sweet. So honestly, um, you know, that's just a deprecation. This probably isn't too huge, and I don't know if it's that big in the Drupal community, but it'll be nice if that can be found. <coughs> but I think this first stream is a huge success um, in the fact that I was able to get this um, in detect internal functions wrapped up. And this define the check for case insensitive constants is no longer supported. Let's see. After this, maybe I can help clean up the CI a bit. Um, so maybe I can give a hand there. Change is requested. I requested a re-requested a review. And this is getting ready for better reflection. Um, all right. My, I am, everything hurts. So uh, I do these for two hours. I'm going to cut about five minutes short. Um, but I do want to thank Esteemed yet again for sponsoring these um, for this live stream and then there's seven more coming on thursdays at 2 p.m central where i'll be working on contributing to php stand so that way we can find deprecated php 8 code ahead of time um, before the great migration to php 8 um, just so you know drupal 10 will require php 8 so we're going to need this if you're curious about other Drupal 10 and Drupal 9 readiness stuff, I do those streams on Wednesday where I work on Drupal Rector, PHP stand Drupal, and upgrade status. Um, so it's really awesome that Esteem sponsored this. It's like I do Wednesdays. Wednesdays I do tooling development that is Drupal specific. And then Thursdays I get to work on PHP stand, which is the underlying framework that, power, that powers Rector, PHP stand Drupal. It's in the name, it's an extension for PHP stand. The upgrade status module runs PHP stand underneath the hood on top of some other fixes or some other tools. So it's it's nice to be able to contribute back to um, this project, especially since it's kind of the workhorse for the entire major version upgrade cycle. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm going to again drop a link to the to the esteemed community. So if you want to join in and be part of the network. It's short URL dot at slash UW capital N X nine. Um, thanks again for tuning in. And like I said, I'll be back next week. Bye.